Ooh, right in the face. Nice, 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 nice. With the forwarder. Hey everyone, it's Kurt Laird here, and uh, this is I super suck at Smash Bros. Usually, I stream this on Twitch, and then I go ahead and edit the video. I try to use uh, characters that I uh, feel interested in using in Smash. Try and get a good feel for everyone, see everyone play, see if there's anyone that I really like using. Uh, today I was supposed to be using Zelda, but I uh, had some issues with the Elgato software, so I wasn't actually able to stream this today. So instead, we're actually just doing this... Uh, uh, we're doing it live, but not really live, huh? <laughs> Don't really know how else to say it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and use Zelda. I've been wanting to use Zelda ever since the uh, game was... Uh, or rather, ever since they revealed how, what she looks like in this game, because she just looks hella cute. Uh, and I really like the way she looks, so I've been really interested and how she plays. She uh, was always a character I've always wanted to use since the, uh, her inception in Melee. Because uh, I always really liked Sheik as a character from more of time. Uh, so when I saw that she was, you know, in Smash, I was like, all right, cool. That'd be pretty cool. But actually using Zelda did not really work out too well. And um, I did like using Sheik quite a bit in Melee. She was actually not half bad. I don't remember how well she was in terms of competitive use of it mainly. Uh, I know, you know, Jenna was just mainly Fox and Falco and Marth. Um, so I didn't really, so I don't really know how well she did there. I'm pretty sure Sheik was actually still a good character. And I know she was not, I don't think, great in Brawl, either Zelda or Sheik, I think. Uh, but I, well, maybe Sheik was okay. I do know that for at least Sheik was very good in uh, Smash 4. Zelda, not so much. I'm getting bopped way too easily. Uh, I should be able to just kill this thing a lot easier. There we go. Uh, I don't really know a lot of her kill confirms just yet. Haven't used her much. Just kind of messed around with her a little bit literally when the game came out. She was one of the first characters I unlocked. I just know her... Uh, Forwarder is pretty good. Uh, that's about it. But I haven't really used her all that much. Uh, but that being said, yeah, she was not so great in Brawl, or rather in Smash 4. They improved her a little bit in this game, I think, but I'm not entirely sure if she's like really extremely viable or anything like that. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I'm really interested to see how she plays. I think she plays pretty well. Um, it's a very interesting play style. I can't really say I can uh, sort of compare it to a lot of the other characters that I played. Because mainly what I played in Smash 4 were Shulk, Toon Link, and Kirby. All characters that don't really play a lot like Zelda. Uh, aside from maybe Toon Link, just because of the projectiles. But her projectiles aren't really projectiles. They're like, you know really just that fireball. Um, this is nice to have, but that's basically a very very weird um, shine. Uh, she's basically Fox, I guess. She has the shine, she does have the forward B projectile, it's just they're a lot slower uh, to cast because they're magic attacks, they're not projectiles, and in general she's a lot slower, so uh, I think uh, what I need to really work on when it comes to using her is in terms of like Three, two, one, working on her go. spacing, or my spacing I should say, uh, and then figuring out how exactly it is that I'm going to kill with her. Because I know that's a bit of an issue, uh, at least for me, setting up kills with her specifically. Because uh, I know some of her moves can kill, I know forward air is really good if you sweet spot it. I feel like they fixed the sweet spot in this game because it was a little bit harder in the previous games. So to actually figure out her dash attack is similar to Daisy's, which is good. So I have a somewhat more experience using that. And I know she has the down B. 
summon the uh, the guy, which I can use for like edge guarding and stuff. But in general, I don't really like using that move. Ooh, that hurts like hell. I don't think it's very good. I know I can use it for edge guarding off the edge of the stage if I time it right. But other than that, I don't really see it's a very good move. I see a lot of players try to use it a lot. And it's good for like mixing up because uh, they kind of forget about it because that little delay at the end. And it does do some pretty crazy damage, but I don't really think it's really that viable to use as much. I don't think, but I don't know. I'll have to mess around with it a little bit more. I think he's catching me. That's a very interesting hitbox because it does come up. Oof. It's very floaty actually. I was expecting to grab the ledge just there, but then I went all the way off into the platform. Did not really see that one coming. See there, I should have read what he was doing. And I should have gone straight for the uh, nice um, for the up air or something like that. Oof! I almost killed yourself there, buddy. Eee! As you can see, that has a long hitbox. It'll probably hit him. Nice read there. Not very being very dumb with the uh, the shadow ball, which is nice because uh, I'm waiting to reflect it, but it's not just throwing it out there, which is nice. Ugh. Neutrals. You would think that would have been a lot more shield pressure, but I guess not. <laughs> I feel like I put in a lot of damage there, but it really did not do a damn thing. Oof. Yeah, she's extremely floaty. You really need to get used to that. Because when it comes to, you know, recovering and whatnot, it just feels hella floaty. Ooh, right in the face. Nice, 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 nice. With the forwarder. Yeah, she feels extremely floating with her aerial, so I really gotta get used to that. I'm not really used to floaty characters. Uh, you know, Kirby's floaty, but he has multiple jumps, so it's a little bit different. And then Shulk and Toon Link were kind of just normal jumps, so... Gotta get a little bit used to that. Alright, some Mewtwo left, but instead we got ourselves Rrrrg the Pup! Here, with Yoshi. Uh, don't really know a lot of matchups for Zelda, quite honestly, either. Uh, I'm assuming... Rushdown characters are going to be very difficult for her. As maybe possibly heavier characters, just because of how uh, floaty she is, so she might have some troubles. I guess I should specify, I'll have some trouble just comboing into characters, but yeah, characters like Yoshi, who put in a lot of pressure, should be giving me a lot of trouble, I believe. So my main thing is, I guess I want to. I uh, don't know. See if I can box them out a little bit. Uh, there's not really too much I can do, because like I said, my projectiles and stuff are pretty slow, so she's not very good at, like, keeping characters away, I don't think, which is maybe one of the main things. Like, she's a very weird character. Like, I'm trying to play, I'm trying to think of it in terms of, like, she's like a spellcaster, right? So what I want to do is generally stay the fuck away, cast my shit. And then, you know, just come in and, uh, uh, after I, you know, wreck house with all my magic and shit, then I can come in and finish him off. But I'm not entirely sure how well that works out, because he also kind of needs to come in kind of close. 
I don't know. Like I said, it's a character that I'm not very used to playing with. Uh, I have to kind of figure out the play style. I guess she's very similar to like maybe Robin, who I also don't have a lot of experience playing with. I tried to play him a little bit in Smash 4, obviously, because he wasn't in any other game. That's his debut game, but it didn't really work out too well. Um, I don't think he's a bad character. Uh, he definitely wasn't a great character. He definitely had some issues, I think. Like, he wasn't, like, one of the better characters, I should say. But, um, definitely not a character I was very good at. Um, so I feel like he might be in the same vein here as Zelda. But I'm not entirely sure. Oof. Okay, so I can't really... What's the word? Compete too much with uh, Yoshi's stuff here. Kind of just got to respect his stuff, I guess. Uh, that's one of the things I've been learning a lot more. A sort of priority, I guess, in terms of moves. I've been learning that a lot since Smash 4. But I have this problem of... Uh, always trying to... Um, challenge or... Yeah, I guess challenge is the word. Like, I keep trying to just go in for people's moves when I can just, you know, be a lot safer and punish them, but instead I try to just challenge their smash attacks and stuff like a fool. Like, I'll see them just charging up their smash attack for, like, hours. I kind of saved the man just now. But at least I killed him. Oof, guess not. Oof, he dodged the aerial. But he gets hit with the smash attack. Doesn't matter because it's kind of negated. Mm, try to go for this area over there. Yeah, neutral. Really gonna get in there. Oof. Jab, too good. Oof. Oof! <laughs> Oof, just barely got through that one. I'm trying right now to just see if I can just rack up as much damage before I die. There we go. But yeah, I need to just stop trying to challenge, especially against characters like Yoshi who just have all the kinds of priority. I'd have to kind of see what they're doing uh, and just punish a lot more after the fact rather than trying to be all ballsy during the fact. Ooh, that move is so good. <laughs> It'll just randomly come out and just KO sometimes. Alright, not that bad. Alright, heard the prop is gonna run that back. Let's go ahead and. Try this Yoshi matchup once more. Uh, I was definitely getting my shit stuffed in the beginning there, but I managed to, like I said, stop trying to challenge his moves. Definitely need to stay the hell away from these. Um, try not to get too close to him because he's gonna just jab me out. And it's just gonna fuck me up. Like I, I, I don't even know how good it is to try and like run in and try and uh, grab him because he can just hit me with these. Um, jabs and then just go into smashes and stuff. Uh, these eggs I should be doing a little bit more against. But it's kind of a waste because, you know, they're so slow by the time I reflect them and waste my time. Yoshi can just come in and do a bunch of shit to me. So which is why I haven't wanted to do them as much. Like that, for example. And he can just go in safely after the, uh, the completely unsafe smash attack and just go in for a dash attack, which is what I've been trying to avoid. Or not a dash attack, a smash attack. I guess the thing is that Yoshi's kind of close distance, so if I keep my distance, I do have slightly more range than him with my attack, so if I can just, I guess, maintain that distance, oh, I should be okay. But I'll have to actually do it. Oof. 
thing just completely wrecks your shield. My god. I swear, it's like no matter what movie does, it just goes right. He just gets the right away no matter what. It's just like, nope, I'm Yoshi. My move goes first. And I just don't know how to. Uh, really deal with that right now. Except for, like, when he's just not attacking. Like, there's very few openings that I see against Yoshi. Uh, it seems. Wow, what? <laughs> okay. Try to just put on as much damage as I can before I die. That's the un most unsafe move I can think of that he does. Because everything else he can just go into jab and it's been pretty good. Thankfully he does go for that a lot. Uh, I guess I've kind of conditioned him to think that that's okay to go for. So he has caught me with the down B quite a lot. That's probably why he's kind of like, all right, well, I'm just going to keep throwing it out there if that's the case. Oof. He just tried to snuff me a couple of times, and I want to stay away from that. Oof, got that lucky up air there, or up smash. Did not want to dash, or did not want to dodge that way at the very least. Oof, just barely. Get that out of the way! There we go! Try to go for the mix up there, but that didn't work. Get him! Ah! Uh, oh, come on! And I think that thing would roll off the ground. Yeah, the good thing about that is that it hits people too. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jumped right out of it. That was a bad idea. Oof. There we go. Down smash, but he got me instead. I mean, at the very least, I lasted very long with that stock. Uh, I thought we were actually- I thought I was actually at a disadvantage. Uh, I thought that was like my last stock or something like that. But, so that was pretty good, uh, considering. I thought he was gonna come down for the down smash. Or the down B, I should say, because he's used that so many times. I guess now he's realized that I've realized that that's not safe. So, uh, he's stopped using it. There it comes. And then he stops himself. Or it was a misinput. He <laughs> meant to go through the stage and the platform, and he just did it. Oof, try to go for a down smash there, but that didn't work. I don't know how to kill this man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There we go! Read that at the very least. But now I'm at a huge disadvantage. Gotta come back. Hella big time. Don't know how well that's gonna work out. Um, fucking dash attack. Oof. Neutral. Really gotta figure out. Really gotta, I guess, not do that move and do neutral air a lot more, and then try to keep that move fresh. Maybe then I'll be able to sweet spot it a little bit better when I need to go for the kill. Yep, that got me. 
Not bad. I just could not kill him that second stock, and that really hurt me. And then I was just at a huge disadvantage after that. That's fine. Hugna Puff! Bringing it back. Maybe another thing I need to sort of investigate is uh, Zelda's tilts. Maybe they're really good. I'll have to take a look at that. I do have a specific name set up that lets me use a tilt stick. Uh, I'm not very good at you know doing tilts normally, so it's probably gonna have to be the only way that I'll be able to figure out tilts. Uh, I saw this video from my Smash Corner. You check them out. Great, great channel. At least they used to be. Hasn't been very active recently. Uh, should hopefully be coming more active now that Smash the Ultimate is out and whatnot. But uh, it's a very great channel for Smash content. Uh, but they put out a video on this attack canceling uh, that you can do in this game. And basically, I, I won't spoil the video, check it out yourself. But the main thing I got out of it is to use a different controller set. I've been vanilla looking with that a little bit since Smash 4. I just haven't actually used it much. Because uh, I've always wanted to try and use a lot more tilts and whatnot. But I figured in this game I might as well try and use it a little bit more. Uh, especially since it's a new game, I might as well start, right? But uh, I haven't actually used it a lot. One of the main reasons why I haven't used it is because he suggested to have the right bumper set to jump. Which I wasn't really a big fan of. Just because... Um, I ended up using that button a lot. Uh, <laughs> whenever I tried using this that specific setup, I would try to just shield a lot with that button. And I would just end up jumping. It would just really throw off my game. So I've tried it the other way around now, where instead of having the right bumper be jump, I have the left bumper be jump. Now we'll see if maybe that'll work out a little bit better. But um, I haven't actually used it too much yet. I also figured that it would help since, you know, I'm trying to... My main character, I guess, that I want to main is Daisy. You know, I love Daisy in this game. Oh, it's only two stock. Whoops. <laughs> Well, 